Well, Hellfire, this is Rock the Riff, and I am back for another Metalhead Envy. Uh, <clears throat> Y'all will have to bear with me. Uh, My sinuses are all acting up and everything. So, <clears throat> I'll probably be clearing my throat a few times and everything. Uh, But I was going to say, starting off this, I can't believe how hard it is to find Ghost's actual channel for Witch Image. I typed in Ghost Witch Image, and there's like 50 million other videos. People's put up lyric videos, and bass covers, and guitar covers, and this, that, that. So, clearly, excuse me, this song is a fan favorite. And so, after not enjoying Pro Memoria as much as others uh, last go around, I am hoping to really, really, really dig this track, but let's dive on in. Okay. So just starting off, I already like the slight off keys piano stab or string stab or something i mean it's not like bad but it's just just a hint like a semi note i dig that already <laughs> i want to hear that again There's already a lot going on in this track. I I am digging it so far. The whole... I don't know why it makes me think of like a Western. But the verses right there just give me a... Like a Western vibe. I don't know why. <laughs> Excuse me. And... Uh, maybe it's just certain... Court, like there is the common certain chords that like get strummed out and a lot of a lot of western tunes and everything but then you turn around and uh you have that alfred hitchcock string stab thing that's going on i already like this track a lot i am digging this a shit ton so far hoping a guitar solo or something would kick in and it's just like going off of pro memoria into witch image right here is another example of tobias normally nails these choruses i mean the choruses i mean most of the time the part that everybody that's into the song really sings along with i just felt like pro memoria's chorus wasn't hitting on much and uh 
but it's like I hear this from Ghost on a, this this kind of thing constantly. I mean, literally, I can only think of two songs that have not clicked with me from Ghost discography so far, and that would be Pro Memoria and Elizabeth. And it's not because they're bad tracks. Like I, I really dig the fact that I did get a lot of comments and people that were supportive saying, hey, look, like one of my favorites was just uh just don't be afraid to give out negative reviews because it just make means your positive ones are are real and everything and i try to typically be as honest as i can in my uh, reactions and everything now prior to me doing youtube i would probably be a little more brutally honest on certain things and I still feel like I can be pretty blunt. Like most of my friends are like, yeah, dude, you, you normally you just say shit straight to the point and uh doesn't matter if it hurts somebody's feelings and all that, which I'm trying to work on better in myself about that. I mean, I don't know. Part of me is like, it is what it is. This is my thought. But at the same time, now as I get older, I'm kind of like, well, I can still have the same thought process, but I don't have to be as mean about saying it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like this song already is just super catchy. I think the only con I could say about it is that it's short as hell. Three minutes and 30 seconds, but there and again, uh, when you take into fact the way a lot of people consume music nowadays. This is about where they want song links to be even shorter than this. Sometimes I'll never understand it. I'm always like a four in between four minutes, six minutes is perfect. But at the same time, I love tracks that are longer than hell. It's like a couple of my favorites are up in the 16 minute, uh, length and everything. Sorry. I hate I hate my sinuses sometimes. It's only when the weather starts flip-flopping. Last week here, we were in the negatives. Like, it was literally getting down to two two degrees that night. And now, it's not even dropping below uh, 50. And I swear, every time the weather flip-flops like this, I just get stuffed up. And it's a bunch of bullshit. That's cool. All right, so not the best of solos, but if you were going to judge that simply on carrying on the melody, then shit, that gets four stars right there. But I did like this little drum filter thing going on at the ass end of it. I I guess which, which image is just like a short, fun little song. Like, uh, I guess if you think of it in the context of the album, by the time you've made it to Witch Image and you've had Pro Memoria and all that, it, this song's just a bit of a pick me up. It's a little, it's a little bump, and uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I think for me personally, I'm connecting with the first half of the album. Uh, a little bit more but then there and again I still have not made it to Helvis Fonster I don't know if that's how you say it but that's how I'm going to say it Helvis Fonster and Life Eternal <laughs> so let's continue on yeah, I like that
I really do like that string stab thing that's going on in that chorus. I mean, guitar tone, everything is really killer. Like, that's another thing I don't think I've really talked too much about uh, for this record. I know I've talked about the mix and the master sounding perfect. But one thing about prequel to me is uh, the guitar tone throughout. When it gets to the distorted guitars, that is one killer tone. I'm kind of curious what it was made with. Like, a, is it the classic 5150 or is something else going on and everything? I think I really like the combination of the intro and the verse and the chorus. Because I like the 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 horror stab, the evil stab things going on. But then the verses have those really strummed out chords. Now I say Western, somebody else might say something different and all that. But to me, that's what it makes me think of. You got the stabs there. Drummed out chords. It's also like it's like a like a heart there too, or at least that's what I'm thinking. That's what it makes me think of. I'm assuming it was done with synths or keyboards or whatever. But if I close my eyes and listen to that, I get the big image of the big ass heart with the strings. I'd like I'd like to play one of those just to see if I could actually figure out how to play one. I tried a violin a long time ago, but I never could figure out. I didn't understand the rosin on the bow, and like I'd have to have somebody physically sit with me and show me how that's supposed to be done. But a harp that would be cool to test out too. Really, the coolest instrument I fucked around with in the past uh, couple years was a uh, a local shop near me. Somebody had a banjo tar in there so it was basically a banjo but with six strings the right way because i've tried to play a banjo before and i just i don't understand where that top string is the high note and it kind of fucks with me a little bit <coughs> but uh yeah like i feel like there's so much going on within the verses and the chorus of this track but then you get to the solo section and they simmered everything down like, call me crazy, but I don't know. Maybe I am biased because I want a good mixture of shred and melody making within the solo. And this one was simply like, let's get the melody, get the melody going and roll it and stick with it. But it's like, uh, it's like faith on this record. Some of the coolest guitar work and I, solos and all that stuff. But so far, to me, that's the only track on this album that's actually let loose on the guitars a little bit. But either way, I still give this track four horns. Uh, I'm going to give it another set of horns for the ver verse and chorus. And, uh, yeah. I'm excited for the next one. So far, prequel is still shaping up to be... Oh man, I I could I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna place these albums in order because yesterday I was going through uh, Meliora again. That album's so good. I understand why it's like the fan. It seems to me what responses I have got here on my channel that that seems to be like the fan favorite so far. But if you ask me personally, I might take the second record over Meliora. It fest his on my mom. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like the concept of that album from beginning to end is through it. It's stuck through it. Whereas Meliora, that album, I, I feel the concept pepper through it. I think he is, is kind of an outlier. 
but at the same time he is is one of my favorite tracks off that third record so far but also i'm hearing the concept of this one i had somebody leave a comment saying wait till you can go through the whole album from beginning to end and i am i'm excited for that to be able to listen to the prequel not stop and everything but it's funny the way I do it now. While I work, I literally, now I can go all the way up to Witch Image. So, I'll, my next day of working, I'll literally listen from Ashes all the way up to Witch Image. So, I'm kind of getting sort of the concept. I just haven't heard the ending of the concept yet. But, I am super excited for the next one. Uh, I know it's another instrumental on the album. And so, that might be some of my bias on why I'm, gonna say prequel might be my favorite record because there's two instrumental tracks on there and the fact that i play in my own instrumental band it already like it kind of like warms my heart a little bit to have a band as big as ghost doing instrumental tracks and everything hell this is one of my band sweaters i am gonna plug it i know i'm uh promoting ghost right now but same time i want to promote myself <clears throat> Excuse me, but that was really good. And uh, once again, I'm excited to hear everybody's feedback. Uh, I really do love reading all the comments and getting all the ghost lore from the fans and everything. And if this ends up being your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I don't always sound like this. I'm just a bit uh, congested at the moment. Or maybe I do sound like this a lot. I don't know. I don't really. Besides hearing my own voice in my head. I don't know how uh, the mic makes me sound and everything. But uh, yeah. So stay positive. Stay rocking. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.